Hello everyone and welcome to ARC Automation Studio. This is Indrapreet Shokar, Senior Analyst at ARC Advisory Group. And today we are going to talk about two technologies, augmented reality and virtual reality, and how these technologies are being adopted in the industrial world, and how these can help in times like today when the whole world is dealing with COVID-19, as well as all the business disruptions and restrictions that are coming along with it. So let's start uh, by talking a little bit about virtual reality, or VR in short. Um, so this is uh, already a very popular technology, and we already have seen it for various applications, mostly in the gaming industry. As we all know it, the technology creates a completely simulated, a completely immersed experience, uh, usually using a VR headset such as Oculus or Sony VR, HTC Pro. So the technology is widely popular in the gaming industry, but we have uh, seen this technology gaining traction in various different industry as well, uh, mainly for the training purposes. Now let's talk about augmented reality. Augmented reality or AR is quite different from virtual reality. So here the user is not fully immersed in the digital experience and the headset used for AR is not fully enclosed, but uses a see-through glass. So Google Glass or Epson Mavario, these are some of the example of AR headset. Um, so for AR, not only one can use these kind of headsets, one can also use smartphones and tablets. And when one is using these smartphones or tablets, the camera of these devices that is used to get the real field of view and then the screen is used to add digital content to it. So basically here users only partial field of view is taken by digital content. Magic Leap 1 and Microsoft HoloLens, these two are also examples of um, an advanced AR headset. These are also referred as mixed reality headset by many in the industry. So these two technologies are also gaining wide adoption in the industrial world and for various different reasons. These help improve the product productivity, help improve training programs, efficiency, can also help improve the safety, bring in cost savings in various different areas and can also help improve the quality of the finished product. But one of the biggest challenge that these technologies are addressing in the industrial world is the skills gap that the industry is facing today. And I think most of us in the industry would agree that it is probably one of the biggest challenge that the industry is facing. So this is not a news to the industrial world that there is an approaching mass exodus of skilled baby boomers and very few young people are interested in a manufacturing or industrial career. So we're gonna see a skills gap in the near future. And the industry is trying to address this um, gap by looking at various different solutions. Some are looking at automation uh, or outsourcing. A lot of them are looking at various digital technologies and trying to improve their training programs. While the industry continues to work toward this, uh, filling this skills gap, suddenly the whole world is facing a different kind of challenge. We are facing the coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic. And as you all know that in an effort to slow down the spread of the virus, various different countries, various different states in, in uh, US, they have imposed strict regulations around travel, uh, closing down non-essential businesses and imposing various other restrictions. However, um, all the industrial manufacturing is nearly essential. Uh, we still need the food, we still need gas, medicines, uh, toilet paper, probably a lot of toilet paper but anyhow what I'm trying to say is that uh, majority of industrial operations they are essential however a lot of these industries these are being advised or sometimes even ordered to operate while practicing a lot of uh, social distancing what that means is that for many of these industrial operations they have to operate with a limited number of employees. Only few workers can be at the plant while others stay at home. So essentially, this current crisis has given rise to a new kind of skills gap in the industry. So we are seeing that all those forward-looking companies, 
that have invested their time and resources to address the impending skills gap, they are better able to address the challenges presented by the COVID-19 situation. This novel coronavirus, it has very quickly created a giant skills gap and a range of different digital technologies are helping address this gap. These technologies include cloud, big data, analytics, smart sensors, remote monitoring, and so on. But our discussion today is going to focus on how augmented reality and virtual reality is helping the industry address the COVID-19 skills gap. The two technologies, AR and VR, they are helping the industry by digitizing the subject matter expertise. And they do so by helping the teams communicate better by reducing complexity and by tapping into the tribal knowledge of subject matter experts. These technologies can help simplify many tasks by presenting only relevant information and data when it is needed. And these technologies also go one step further and help improve decision making as well by presenting the user all the relevant data and also tapping into the historical data as well. Now let's talk about some of the major applications of these two technologies in the industry. And one of the area of greatest potential is remote collaboration. Here augmented reality is proving out to be of great help. In every industry, we know that professionals, they sometimes need to collaborate with their remote peers. And we have a lot of traditional video conferencing tools available today. These tools provide the capability of audio and video, and they're pretty sufficient for many in the work workforce. However, when we talk about industrial environment, these tools are lacking because in industrial environment, we need a lot of hands-on work. So AR can help here because AR, it goes one step beyond the traditional video conferencing tools. Using ARs, field workers or remote workers, they can connect with an expert and they have their uh, video, they have their audio. But on top of that, the expert is also able to draw on live video stream, basically to better guide the field worker. So experts or the field technician, they are able to draw diagrams. They are able to use the markers. They are able to write instructions, add annotations on user screen and on their even live field of view. So basically it is helping the teams collaborate more effectively. As we all know, with COVID-19 situation, only fewer workers are at plant and they are managing a lot more tasks than before. And there's a good chance that they need to work with a remote expert who's probably at home or who's probably at a different plant and need their guidance. So these kind of tools can go a long way to help, you know, remote teams collaborate more effectively and perform their job more effectively as well. Second major area of application of these technologies is training. Again, as we mentioned before that with COVID-19 situation, now fewer workers are needed to be at the plant and they need to manage a lot more tasks than before. So we need to train these employees on, on all these new tasks, which were not a part of their usual work responsibilities. So technologies like virtual reality and augmented reality, they are proving to be very helpful uh, in scenarios like these where we need just in time kind of training procedures virtual reality, it can create effective training programs with a large field of view and complete immersion. So basically giving the user a hands-on interactive training program. Um, because of all these benefits, virtual reality is already very popular in the industry for training applications. But in recent times, augmented reality has also gained a lot of acceptance in the industry for training. With ER's ab ability to create um, a see-through effect and merge real and virtual world, it is also helping to create interactive training programs. And one major benefit of augmented reality over virtual reality is that uh, users, they're able to create uh, training programs by themselves, uh, which can be used uh, by others later on. So helping basically create effective training programs quickly as well. Another application area of AR technology is operations. 
Similar to the way AR is helping create training programs, it can also be used to simplify day-to-day -day operations for industrial workers. So far, AR has gained um, a lot of acceptance uh, for assembly operations. So in industries like automotive or semiconductor, where workers need to assemble a lot of different components, what AR can do is that it can give these workers step-by-step -step instructions to basically simplify their job. And recently, AR is also gaining popularity in process plans <clears throat> for maintenance and inspection purposes. What AI does here is that it uh, gets data from different sources and offer it to the user when they need all that data. And in many cases, uh, in many situations, a lot of AI applications are also able to take voice command and input the data uh, through this voice command and then feed that data to various different applications. So basically, again, as I mentioned before, simplifying the job of uh, the user. And this is especially helpful in, in times like COVID-19, as I mentioned before, that fewer workers are at the plant managing a lot more tasks. And it's nearly impossible to become an expert in all these tasks. So a technology like augmented reality, it is uh, helping capture the tribal knowledge of experts and then better utilizing the data from different sources and therefore helping workers with the decisions and tasks and simplify the job which looks especially compl complicated in times like today when we are dealing with the COVID-19 situation. Now let's talk about uh, how the COVID-19 situation is affecting the AR and VR market. Well, we all know there are hundreds and thousands of AR and VR companies in the market. Thanks to the great interest by the venture capital world, we see new companies emerge every single day. VC world also expect big return which in industry is not happening right now. So a lot of these companies that are not able to keep up with the venture capital expectations, they're vanishing every day as well. So in general, AR and VR market is quite dynamic. The COVID-19 situation is further adding to this. Um, as we all know with COVID-19 situation, we expect a slowdown in global markets and this is affecting the venture capital world as well. They are going to be very cautious of new investments. So we will see very few new companies emerge in the short term with the lack of new venture funding, of course. And we are also likely to see more companies disappear. So in terms of number of players, the market is likely to shrink in the near future. Now let's talk about uh, the prospects of these two technologies in the short and long term. In the short term, as we all know that because of the COVID-19 situation, we expect a global slowdown. So organizations in all over the world, they are trying to prepare for it. They are trying to preserve cash as much as possible. So in that situation, majority of the companies, they are going to delay their technology investment. So that is directly going to impact the ER and VR market. Um, the whole world is dealing with operational disruptions. Again, with that, the major focus of industry players at this time is that they want to keep their operations going. So they are only thinking about the short term. They are not thinking about the long term strategy. Again, you know, delaying investment in that case. Um, another factor that we already talked about is that um, because of current times, there is very limited interest from the venture capital world. They are going to be very cautious as well. So we are going to see very few new players emerge in the market and a lot of existing players are going to disappear in the short term. So the competition landscape is going to look very different at the end of one year. So in the short run, more likely around a year, things are going to be very slow for the augmented reality as well as the virtual reality market. However, in the long term, the prospects are definitely great because of all the good benefits that we discussed. We uh, discussed how the technology is helping address the skills gap in the industry, how there are going to be improvements in the training programs because of these two technologies. And these are some of the benefits that can be very helpful to the industry, even in current times, even in today's time. Um, and some companies will definitely see this as well, and they are going to invest in the technology even in the short term. However, overall, 
there'll still be a slowdown in the industry. But then looking again, looking at the long term, another factor that is helping the industry is that the rise of artificial intelligence. Um, AI is being integrated in various different technologies and its integration with AR and VR is going to help these uh, applications improve. Uh, as we talked a little bit before as well, that when these technologies can help with the decision making, can help the operator or user um, simplify their job, that's going to really help with the adoption of these technologies. Another factor that is leading to uh, long term growth is the digital transformation. Uh, a lot of forward looking players are already um, on their digital transformation journey. They are already prepared and they are preparing themselves for new technology adoption as well. So they are open to technologies like augmented reality and virtual reality. And this is going to drive uh, the adoption of these technologies going forward. So long term, the prospects are definitely great because of all the benefits that these technologies provide. However, in the short term, because of the COVID-19 situation, things are very uncertain. So with that, I would like to wrap up this discussion on augmented reality and virtual reality technology. Thank you everyone for your time. If you have any comment or question for us, you can reach us at arcweb.com. Thank you everyone and stay safe.